I am going to talk to you a little bit about Define Learning today and how we incorporate our student-led academic teams into Define Learning. So Define Learning is all about giving students access to careers, awareness to careers, and be able to work collaboratively in their student-led teams. So a few jobs you'll see today a reporter, facilitator, recorder, and our timekeeper. And they're learning all about election organizers right now, which is a wonderful thing. So wonderful. as a teacher, Define Learning has been a really good platform for me, especially to not have to reinvent the wheel. It's given me access to projects, resources that are appropriate for my students, and different research platforms that we can kind of take and then run with in the classroom so we didn't have to create these projects they're all in defined learning and that's helped us kind of start from the ground and go up as a teacher it's also a really good way for me to be able to incorporate technology typing answering real world questions real world careers into the classroom and that's been really helpful. Define Learning is all about collaboration, not really, we do want them to gain knowledge, but it's all about working together and problem solving and not, there's not one answer to anything or any of these tasks or projects. So it's really about participation, working together, being a good team player, making sure we're following directions and making sure that we're listening to our friends. Define Learning has basically four stages that you go through. The first stage, which is what we are in, is called setting the stage. And that sets them up with all of the background knowledge they're gonna need. They'll also do a stage where they research their career. And then at the end, they do a creation and product design, which is really the end product or the end grade of the whole thing. They're gonna show us what they made based off what they learned. And Define Learning is really great about giving them choices of what product or creation they want to make. My students have done tremendous work with their student-led academic teams combined with this project-based learning and Define Learning. They are able to deal with conflict work as a team in that they are giving each other tasks so that they're able to actually have something that they're responsible for in the team and they also know that this is going well beyond just Miss News Classroom. They're going to be using it in middle school, they're going to be using it with sports and in high school and they've just got the buy-in from me and from their teammates so they can get the job done and they, they're doing a tremendous job working together and as we all know that is a lifelong skill. Picking the topic that I feel like is going to be the most beneficial to them and tying it to the real world helps them to stay motivated and engaged. So I allow them to look at the different products that they can make, the projects, and then they decide. And once they've decided as a team, then they create their own buy-in and then it just takes off from there. They do a tremendous job working together because they love the topic. Thank goodness for the agree-disagree cards that go along with the student-led academic team model because that's what they use for conflict. When I start to hear them going off of the card, I walk around and I'm constantly monitoring for those sentence stems that they're supposed to be using. I disagree, however, or I agree with you, let's take it further. Those types of things just help ease the conflict and give everybody a voice. So conflict has really what I thought would be tremendous because I picked the teams has actually worked out lovely because they're being respectful using those cards. I can tell if the student is learning and hitting the standards and progressing through the assignment by how well they can explain it to me candidly. So if I'm asking them questions that don't come off of a script and they can answer that thoughtfully, then I know that they are hitting the mark. 